Sadness Sea is a game of exploration, survival and loneliness. It's a game of light and dark. It's set in the same universe as our first game, Fallen London, which has been running for four years. We've got a million words in, so we've already got this fully worked out world to draw on. But this time we're taking the player out of the city, putting them in direct control of their own ship. You're um, leaving your comfortable home, you're crossing the water, you're going to a strange place, you're changing and then you're returning home. There's a huge map full of islands, full of extraordinary things, shattered stalagmites, cities on turtle shells. The unexplored parts of the map change every time you play, so no two games are exactly the same. Light and dark are crucial to Summer Sea. The game was really dark, so it's up to the player to explore and to discover new areas using the lights on their ship. But the lights attract monsters, they cost fuel, they can have unexpected side effects, so you really want to balance what's going on. It's, it's really significant to, uh, to the game design. Um, your crew starts to panic. It it's completely changes how your story um, unfolds, uh, how well lit you are. But obviously it also has a huge effect um, on the, uh, the art style as well. The art of Summer Sea is really an evolution from Fallen London. Uh, we're taking what was a game with uh, still illustrations and text and trying to translate the essence of it uh, into, into something that moves. It's actually incredibly liberating taking a 2D approach because then suddenly the focus is back on the story, which is where we always want it to be. We're going to need your help to build Sunless Sea, so if you like what you've seen, please check out our backer rewards and pledge. It's one of the things about modern game development is that an audience now starts to appear before the game is finished. Uh, and that's really exciting because if you can find a channel of communication with them, um, then it can become a dialogue. The game creation can become a dialogue. Fallen London is a passion project for all of us here and we've always wanted to expand the universe and that's something that uh, you the fans have always wanted as well and Kickstarter is this opportunity for us to go straight to you, get the financing from you and get your feedback on the type of game that you want to see and we want to make.